May 10, 2012, just a Dunder Keep. Sharing some thoughts on legal matters. Now, whenever I'm searching for cases in preparation for uh, a motion, and uh, I'll get some basics here, I guess, how a general civil court action is, it is begun by a notice of action, which is a simple document called Form 16A. If it's a notice of action and statement of claim attached, it's a Form 16A. If one is trying to file the notice of action with a time limit, one could file, I know I've done it, Form 16B, which is just the notice of action without the statement of claim. It gives you a month to prepare the statement of claim so you can get, get the wording right. And I've used that before to my advantage. So I can just make sure the wording's correct. And then after 30 days, one files a Form 16C, statement of claim. Now together, the notice of action and statement of claim, if it's a Form 16A, or if it's a Form 16B and Form 16C together, have to be served within six months on the uh, defendants to the action. Once the defendants are served with the notice of action, statement of claim, they have 20 days within New Brunswick to respond to the statement of defense. If they're served somewhere outside of New Brunswick, they have 40 days to serve a statement of defense. And if they're somewhere else in the world, they have, I believe, it's 60 days. And that's it. And if the party does not file a notice of intent to defend or a statement of defense within the time allotted, they may be noted in default. Noting someone in default is as simple as providing proof of service in a letter requesting the clerk to note that party in default. And what should happen is the clerk should just note them in default if they have not served a, they have not filed and served a notice, a statement of defense or notice of intent to defend. It's pretty straightforward. Now, uh, That's the uh, <laughs> basics there. Um, when someone, when a plaintiff is served a statement of defense by one of the defendants, then they have a certain time period within which they may file and serve a uh, reply. So that's what's known as the pleadings. Pleadings is the notice of action by the plaintiff a statement of defense by the defendant, and then a reply by the plaintiff. Now, after the time has expired for filing and serving a reply, which is only 10 days after being served with a statement of defense, the uh, pleadings are considered closed. And one cannot then modify the notice of action, statement of claim, any documents without seeking either consent of the court or consent of parties to the action. So, that's good to keep in mind whenever fi one's filing a notice of action. Those basic time limits. You got your notice of action, statement of claim filed by the plaintiff, and the statement of defense filed by the defendant, and then there is a reply possibly served by the plaintiff, if the plaintiff so chooses. So, that's the basics of the pleadings. Now, that's the, the basic, I guess, mechanics of how a notice of action is started. And once the notice of action is started, as in its notice of action is filed and served, and the statement of defense is filed and served, and a reply is either filed and served or not filed, and then the time expires, then the pleadings are closed and the action is on. Once the action is alive and open, then parties may file motions for interim relief, which means relief in the meantime, before they get to the, the main crux of the lawsuit. There's several uh, mini procedures along the way. Today I'd like to keep the video just to the basics, filing a notice of action, statement of claim. And uh, I'll have to do another video regarding some serving basics 
there is another video that was created where it was illustrated how to serve someone by registered mail. I'll put the link to the, that video in the uh, description box. Someone can click over to it and see how to serve someone by UPS, registered mail. And that's how I do it anyway. This is uh, Just a Dumb Dirt Cheap, May 10, 2012. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.